Hi, I'm Justin, DevOps Engineer, and I give Fabricator a 2 out of 5. For more reviews like this, click below. At the time, we looked at GitLab and a couple of similar products and considering Fabricator as well. We ultimately decided on Fabricator because it had the features we wanted at a price tag that we could afford. We mainly chose Fabricator in, uh, because of its Mercurial integrations. We use the Mercurial version control system at my company, and not a lot of other companies supported it. That, plus the price tag, plus some additional capabilities around code review, gave us what we were looking for. Getting started with Fabricator is definitely not an easy process. The only documentation they have is their official documentation, which is a little bit spotty. Fabricator is installed by cloning a Git repository. There are no system packages or anything like that. It was a little surprising because packages like GitLab, which are considerably bigger, have everything consolidated into a single package. After the repository is installed, you need to manually install and configure a variety of different services. It took quite a while and was a very difficult process to finish. If you're thinking about getting Fabricator, be aware that the company that develops it facility is largely a one-man operation. While Evan Priestley is definitely a very capable developer and I'm impressed with what he's been able to make, I would not personally entrust my company's productivity to something that's backed by more or less a single person. Consider, too, that the overall trajectory of Fabricator is geared more toward paying customers. If you're not paying for their support, you are not going to get any feature requests or support of any sort.